you thinking when you had to come back, you know, leave the field? And... Just whatever. I'm going to just fight through it, get through it. Even though it's hurting, I got to go. That's my mind. That was my mindset. Is it anything that you think could potentially keep you from playing in a game? No, nah, I think it's probably doing me a little favor. Yeah. Like, I can't hold. I don't got my, I don't got my thumb, you know? <laughs> no. I got nine fingers to catch with. It'd be all right. Can you take us through that very last play on the yeah. interception? Just what you saw. Um, just saw the ball. Uh, going up there, just high point of ball, making a play. My guy did a good job of boxing everybody else, so there was no one there. So it was just, you know, ball in the air. My first instinct. Can you take us through the fumble recovery? <laughs> I mean, how, how long do you, I think you returned it 17 yards or something. How long do you think you actually ran on it? Probably ran about 120 <laughs> for 17 yards. But it was a good 17. It was worth it. <laughs> yeah, I seen two big linemen coming. I know they were mad because I was running around the field. And I, I know they was like, when I get a hold of him, I'm going to crush him. So I was like, I just went out of bounds. <laughs> Trayvon, obviously a win's a win, but yeah. how do you balance how you feel about a game like this? Do you want to carry some of that frustrating feeling out mm -hmm. of this? Uh, no, it was, a, it was a good game for us, like, as far as, like, adversity-wise. You know, we need games like that just to, you know, just to see, you know, how, how we're going to respond, you know, to a little adversity. You know, games not going our way, not going our way things not going our way, so... You know, how are we going to respond? And I think we did a real good job of that. We need games like that. You know, playoff time coming around, you know, there's going to be games just like that. So, you know, we just got to fight. You know, all players in the NFL are good players, you know, regardless of their record. You know, anybody could win on Sunday. Anybody could lose on Sunday, you know. So just going out there, competing, and just fighting, you know, just show what type of team we got. Your secondary dealing with some moving parts. What can mm -hmm. you say about how that unit is doing right now and Kelvin Joseph? Yeah, uh, Kevin Joseph, I'm proud of what he did uh, today. You know, he had that he had that big third down stop that was very much needed. You know, uh, you know he he's young. You know, you gonna have to go through the things. You know, just to like I did. You know, when I, my rookie year, you know, I was going through stuff, little stuff like I'm being right there and the ball getting caught. It's just little things. You know, the more that he plays, the more that you know he's in the game. You know, it's just gonna be just fine. You know, he's a great player, great kid. So you know, I'm I'm not worried. You know, the other young guys. You know, I'm not worried. I just gotta do a good job of leading them. You know, now I'm like. The old, the old guy. <laughs> Just, you feel comfortable in that role mentally? Yeah, for sure. You know, I'm not really a, a vocal person, you know, but I can lead by example. Um. We just got we got to hold off, you know. That's what we got to do. We're a team, you know. Offense, you know, wasn't, you know, clicking, you know, in the beginning. But, you know, if we wasn't clicking in the beginning, I know the offense would have our back just like we had their back, you know. Uh, we got a great team. You know, we, we know we got each other's back. So, you know, just us being there for them and them, them being there for us, we got that stop, and I knew Dak was going to take care of business. Why do you think it was such a smooth start with the Kansas I don't know. One of those days, I don't know. I really don't know. Wow. Wow. You Yeah, I was I was going back to my receiver days, you know. Trying to make a couple of people miss, trying to make a play for seventeen yards. You're talking to the spot injury burst in the day and just kinda defended two different ways in two weeks and then kinda had fourth quarter last week with six minutes close and that way and then Mm -hmm. uh, I think I think it speaks for itself. You know, we can get it done however we need to get it done, whether it's real fast or whether it's real slow, whether it's the last quarter, whether it's overtime. You know, we want to make sure that we get it done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could have easily gone the other direction, but I never was concerned or worried. You know, I never, I didn't think that we ever want to lose the game. You know. Like, we got a great team, you know, the guys in the locker room. I know we was going to step up and make the plays that we needed to make to get the win. I think we saw Aiden up there on the board today. Yeah. Have you seen him since the game? What do you think he's going to say about Keller recovery? <laughs> uh, he's going to be happy. He asked me for the ball. I don't know what I did with the ball, but <laughs> he asked me for it. Uh, he's real excited. I'm, I'm glad he came to this one. Talk about on offense. Talk about how Dak is just steady. Yeah. Leading to that big yeah. drive. What's mm -hmm. it like on the defense? I feel like it's just our mindset, you know, like everybody knows the vibe, you know, 
we don't have to say too much to each other, you know. It's, it'd take one person, JK, D-Law, anyone to be like, all right, let's go. Let's pick it up, and we know what time it is. So, you know, just the vibe on defense, that's just how we play. Were you aware that JK had that scare in pregame warm-ups? And if so, what was in your mind when you might have lost Anthony and Jordan an hour and a half about JK and the youth? Yeah, I was terrified. <laughs> but I seen him, I was like, you good? He's like, yeah, I was like, all right, we good. Thank you.